I think my responsibility definitely is towards the constituency, but is also towards the general public of Pakistan and especially the voices that are not heard in the parliament, that is children and women and minorities. So my work has been uh, to support and to push and to table uh, legislations and also to work in a bipartisan manner because we are working towards a better Pakistan and not towards a divided and polarized Pakistan. So, and I'm very happy to report in the parliament that we do help out each other, women parliamentarians help each other out in their pursuit to legislate uh, because there's a lot of lobbying that is required, there's a lot of work that is required. The three laws that I'm supporting and I've tabled, I would like to mention uh, prohibition of corporal punishment against children is one of the top ones, is basically to stop corporal punishments in schools, orphanages, anything, workplaces, uh, learning centers, madaris, to stop corporal punishment and it has a lot of details in it and uh, it's taken me three years. It's a lot of hard work to legislate, but we are this much near. So uh, the process is nearly complete and I'm very, very pleased. The second very important bill is domestic workers bill, which is to give rights to domestic workers in the Islamabad capital territory. You know, their contracts, their rights to food, health, uh, and their well-being, which in this 21st century and in the capital city of Pakistan, we don't still have. So it's also in the works. And the third bill that I've initiated right now is a constitutional amendment to actualize children's age of majority, that is be becoming an adult, at 18. And it's uh, receiving a lot of resistance, but I'm at it and we also seek help of our international partners and see what's happening in the other countries. So as a woman legislator, I feel that uh, women work 50 times harder than men and they are more responsible to seek a change. That is what I'm doing. Just yesterday, I visited Miran Shah in uh, North Waziristan as a participant of the National Security Workshop. Uh, conducted by NDU and I was so shocked to learn and to know that uh, women's literacy, girls' literacy is still 2% in the area. The parliamentarians have to look at these places, you know, that are left behind because in this day and age, we do need literacy. So for now, I would say that focus on these newly merged um, districts uh, in, uh, of FATA into Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and improve their social indicators.